Today, I want to talk to you about orchid pests. There is no way to completely prevent pests from finding your orchid plant. However, if you pick up dead leaves and keep the area around your plant free of debris, this can do a lot in keeping pests under control. In this video, I'm going to cover the five most common orchid pests. Let's start by talking about aphids. The very common green fly aphid loves the soft part of the orchid, including new growth and buds. These pests can be easily identified, but if left alone, they can multiply very quickly. When the aphids are spotted, spray them with a little insecticidal soap or immerse the part of the plant that has been affected and swish it around until the aphids have been removed. Aphids can be a persistent problem, especially during the summer season. Check for them frequently since one can easily turn into a hundred in just one week. Another common orchid pest is scales. The adult scale will form a shell around themselves that's usually a shade of brown. Under these hardened shells are where the adults will lay their eggs. When eggs hatch and are in the larval stage, they are called crawlers and are very small, move fast, and have less protection. Scales love cattleyas and can mostly be found on the underside of the leaves. Damage to the leaf will show up as yellow patches. If your leaf is yellow, turn it over and check for scales. They also love to hide in the sheath that protects the pseudobulbs. If you see some scales lurking around the pseudobulb, remove the protective sheath to see if they're underneath as well. Treat them with insecticidal soap or use isopropyl alcohol. Be sure to spray the scales and use a rag to dislodge the shell completely. Since the young scales are often undetectable, Clearing just the visible scales may not eliminate the entire problem. Treatments on a weekly basis for a few weeks may be necessary to be sure the next generations don't repopulate your plant. These next pests are mealybugs. These pests are about an eighth of an inch long. They have soft bodies and are covered in a fuzzy cotton-like substance which makes their presence noticeable. They like to gather near the base of the plant where the leaves form, hiding in the crevices. Their damage appears as yellow patches where they settle. When they find a nice spot, they will build a home with their white cotton coating. You can treat them the same way as scales with an insecticidal soap or alcohol. When spraying them, you want to be sure to penetrate the white coat. You can also use a toothpick or narrow stick to dig them out of the narrow leaf base. Mealybugs are mobile, therefore they can also move up the plant, affecting the buds and flowers too. Another common pest are thrips, most commonly the western flower thrip. Thrips are the hardest to combat because they're difficult to see with the naked eye and they also fly. The adults are brown or black in color. You will notice their presence by the deformation and scarring of flower tissue. They use their mouth parts to penetrate the tissue and suck the sap. Once they attack the bud or bloom, the damage is permanent for the lifetime of that flower. Prevention of thrips is key since completely getting rid of them is nearly impossible. Keeping good maintenance and cleanliness of the growing area is key. Also, we monitor their presence using yellow sticky traps that are checked weekly. This way we can apply a pesticide to the crop to minimize infestation. If you do see the damage of thrips on your orchid, you can treat with insecticidal soap, malathion, as well as other insecticides readily available that are specific for thrips. Lastly are the slugs and snails, which are always around. We are constantly working at keeping these pests at bay in our greenhouses. Slugs do the most damage by eating the soft plant material found in new shoot tips and buds and root tips. Since they come out at night, we often don't see the damage until the next morning. You'll definitely know that they've been attacking your plant because they leave a sticky glue-like substance in their tracks. There are many readily available options for slug and snail control, pellets, as well as liquid applications. One natural method is to keep around toads, which are natural predators. Keep in mind that aphids and thrips feed through their mouth parts and can fly from plant to plant. Therefore, it's important to keep these pests under control as they can spread viruses throughout your orchid collection. In another video, we will cover orchid diseases and viruses. See you next time.